What's going on guys, it's Max T here. So today I'm feeling a bit of a I'm feeling kinda of bad today. I might sound good but I'm still I'm still feeling bad today because I was at a hospital. My stomach was hurting. I don't know why. So so I'm back now. Uh, like thanks for my she like posting the video to tell you guys because uh, there's no wi there was no Wi-Fi over there to tell you guys or something, you know. Post the video video immediately. So Maxi, thank you for that. Anyway, so now I'm back. Now let's continue episode two. Okay, let's continue. You're going up against the king of the creepers, and you pick. Ooh, ha! That's hilarious and thematically appropriate with your training by barnyard animals. <laughs> Get off! No pigs allowed. Stuff! I got cool stuff coming your way. I got you an arrow for your bow. I think it's enchanted or something. Bow in a cannon fight? Actually, there are. Stop eating my kingdom! Magnus, come on! You'll regret messing with Boomtown! Go! Just a little farther. Wow! Someone really went bonkers with the defenses, huh? <laughs> ah. 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 Oh! <laughs> Who goes there? Oh, Jesse? Is that you? We're back. Lucas! Hey, we're back! I'm so glad you're back. And we brought Magnus. Fantastic. Quick, come on. You guys are never going to believe who showed up while you were gone. Wow. Petra. Hey, guys. How's it going? <laughs> Petra, you made it. It's good to see you too, big guy. And it's really good to see you, Jesse. Nice. Back there in Gabriel's bunker, it got pretty yeah, dicey. Okay. It's such a relief to see you. I'm glad you're okay. You pulled me out of that Witherstorm's crutches, and I ran and ran and okay. ran for the temple. If you hadn't saved me, well, I owe you everything, Jesse. I'm just glad I heard Gabriel telling you where to go. Okay, so... I'm so glad to see you. Did the Witherstorm leave anything? Is anything left of our home? It's all a blur, but the Witherstorm left almost nothing behind. Everything, everyone, was just gone. Dang. It even got Gabriel. Wow! Been a while since I've been here. Whoa. What is she doing here? Oh, okay. Now. Call this a hunch, but do you two not like each other? Right. Um, I forgot to mention, Olivia went on a little expedition of her own while you were gone. And this Olivia person came back with her? Did you know about this? Did Elagard put you up to this? You think you know a guy, and then, bam. And this is a problem? <laughs> you bet your butt it's a problem. Whoa. No way am I working with her. Not after... <sighs> Jesse, Jesse, look, I found Elagard. Just hang on a sec, okay? I'll go figure out what's going on. Good, you do that. 
Oh, come on, don't be so hasty. Easy now, Olivia. Let's try and play it cool. Hmm? So, where are you now? And why did you bring him with you? Yeah, and you two are going to have to get along, okay? We didn't even know you were going to be here. If he's nice, I'll be nice too. It was kind of crazy, actually. I went to Redstonia, and there were all these incredible engineers and inventors. It was a little intimidating, actually, but Eligard's made me her protege. Well, assistant for now. I mean, after what happened. I know, I'm sorry. So sorry. Redstonia? It's like a town devoted to nothing but engineering and invention. It's amazing. And I was pretty out of my league. She might have, well, embarrassed herself. A tiny bit. Yeah. But after I pled my case, she agreed to take me on as her assistant and come back to help. Not bad, right? Oh, huh? <laughs> hooray! It's Ellie. And here I was just starting to enjoy myself. Hello, Magnus. Your voice is exactly as pleasant as I remember. <laughs> which is to say, not at all. Oh, <clears throat> my feelings. Is that the same wit you're going to use to save the world? Why? You're here to tell me how to do it better? Oh, I would never dream of doing that. Unlike you, I actually do things instead of just talking about them. Hey, that's Eligard you're talking to. Show her some respect. Wow. You finally found yourself a live one. Hey! Your little devotees are usually yeah, a little stop. more on the bookish side. Would you all cut it out? Holy crap, you're all acting like crazy people. Uh, people, can we please focus on the bigger picture? We have a very hungry Witherstorm in the process of turning the whole world into its dinner. Yeah, I'll admit, that thing looked real nasty. And I've seen some nasty stuff in my time. Too much for you, was it? Your usual brutish approach didn't cut it? Hey, you weren't there, all right? You didn't see how this thing just tore everything up. You've never seen anything like it. This arguing isn't helping anything. We want to stop that thing? We're going to need some serious yep. firepower. Yep. Jesse's right. We need to find some way to stop that thing. I don't know if you've looked around yet, but this place isn't nearly the stronghold it used to be. Most of our supplies are gone. It would take a mountain of TNT to kill that thing. I hate to say it, but you have a point. Yeah. This is amazing. I know. Are they getting along? Can we start crafting some then? I don't think we got that kind of time. Oh, okay. But even if we had all the TNT for miles around, I don't know if it would be enough. If only Soren were here, he might have something we could use. Oh, Ellie. Not this again. You know I hate when you brag about you and Soren's little brainy club. I'm not bragging. I yes, think I've got a legitimate idea here. There's something stronger than TNT? Soren had a kind of super TNT. Stronger and more explosive than anything else in the world. Whoa. The Formidabomb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard all about the F-bomb before. F-bomb? Yeah. Soren claimed that dropping the F-bomb could destroy anything. But I've never seen it's it before. real. I swear. This thing sounds in impossible. How could it even exist? Yeah. Impossible objects were Soren's specialty. Whoa, we don't yeah. know where Soren is. But you found us. Do you know where he is? The map can show us then, yes. Our map could locate him, unless he's in the nether, or the end. But, it's worth a shot. He wasn't on the map. He wasn't on the map. Yep. We want to have to turn around. Okay. Oh, Eligard. I'm depressed. Hello, Eligard. You said you know how to activate the map? I'm very curious to see it. I've never actually seen it work before. How are you, Petra? Fine. You okay? We can talk about it later. Let's just do this map for now. Magnus, hey, Magnus. Hey, Small Fry. 
No shame in admitting you can't turn that thing on. It's very, very sophisticated. I'm going, I'm going. I know what I'm doing. Oh, I'm not going without Axel. Hey, Axel, how are you doing? I'm hanging out with Magnus. I'm doing awesome. Glad to hear it, buddy. Okay. Lucas, my boy. How are you holding up, Lucas? I'm all right. This has all been pretty intense. Hmm. I feel like if I think too much about what's been going on... Thank you so much for all the help. I, I know we haven't always gotten along the best in the past, but you've been so great. Wow. That means a lot, Jesse. Thank you. Do I have to? I'm going to use it. Just in case. Hey, Olivia, you okay? I'm all right. I can't shake the feeling that I embarrassed myself back in Redstonia, in front of Eligard. I think she kind of judges me a little bit. It'll be... <laughs> I hope you're right. Stop eating my kingdom! Magnus, come on! You'll regret messing with Boomtown! Go! with the defenses, huh? <laughs> ah. 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 Oh! <laughs> Who goes there? Oh, Jesse? Is that you? We're back. Lucas, hey, we're back! I'm so glad you're back! And we brought Magnus! Fantastic! Quick, come on! You guys are never gonna believe who showed up while you were gone. Wow. Petra! Hey guys, how's it going? <laughs> Petra! You made it! It's good to see you too, big guy. And it's really good to see you, Jesse. Nice. Back there in Gabriel's bunker, it got pretty yeah, dicey. Okay. It's such a relief to see you. I'm glad you're okay. You pulled me out of that Witherstorm's crutches, and I ran and ran and okay. ran for the temple. If you hadn't saved me, well, I owe you everything, Jesse. I'm just glad I heard Gabriel telling you where to go. Okay, so... I'm so glad to see you. Did the Witherstorm leave anything? Is anything left of our home? It's all a blur, but the weather storm left almost nothing behind. Everything, everyone, was just gone. Dang. It even got Gabriel. Dang. Wow! It's been a while since I've been here. Whoa. What is she? Doing here. Oh, okay. Call this a hunch, but do you two not like each other? Right. Um, I forgot to mention, Olivia went on a little expedition of her own while you were gone. And this Olivia person came back with her? Did you know about this? Did Eligard put you up to this? You think you know a guy, and then bam. And this is a problem? <laughs> you bet your butt it's a problem. No way am I working with her. Not after... Ugh. Jesse, Jesse, look, I found Eligard. Just hang on a sec, okay? I'll go figure out what's going on. Good, you do that. Oh, come on, don't be so hasty. 
easy now, Olivia. Let's try and play it cool. Hmm? So, where are you now? And why did you bring him with you? Yeah, and you two are going to have to get along, okay? We didn't even know you were gonna be here. If he's nice, I'll be nice too. It was kind of crazy, actually. I went to Redstonia, and there were all these incredible engineers and inventors. It was a little intimidating, actually, but Elagard's made me her protege. Well, assistant for now. I mean, after what happened. I know, I'm sorry. So sorry. Redstonia? It's like a town devoted to nothing but engineering and invention. It's amazing. And I was pretty out of my league. She might have, well, embarrassed herself. A tiny bit. Yeah. But after I pled my case, she agreed to take me on as her assistant and come back to help. Not bad, right? Oh, hooray! It's Ellie. And here I was just starting to enjoy myself. Hello, Magnus. Your voice is exactly as pleasant as I remember. <laughs> which is to say, not at all. Oh, my feelings. Is that the same wit you're gonna use to save the world? Why? You're here to tell me how to do it better? Oh, I would never dream of doing that. Unlike you, I actually do things instead of just talking about them. Hey, that's Eligard you're talking to. Show her some respect. Wow. You finally found yourself a live one! Hey! Your little devotees are usually yeah, a little stop. more on the bookish side. Would you all cut it out? Holy crap, you're all acting like crazy people! Uh, people, can we please focus on the bigger picture? We have a very hungry Witherstorm in the process of turning the whole world into its dinner? Yeah, I'll admit, that thing looked real nasty. And I've seen some nasty stuff in my time. Too much for you, was it? Your usual brutish approach didn't cut it? Hey, you weren't there, all right? You didn't see how this thing just tore everything up. You've never seen anything like it. This arguing isn't helping anything. We want to stop that thing? We're going to need some serious yep. firepower. Yep. Jesse's right. We need to find some way to stop that thing. I don't know if you've looked around yet, but this place isn't nearly the stronghold it used to be. Most of our supplies are gone. It would take a mountain of TNT to kill that thing. I hate to say it, but you have a point. Yeah. This is amazing. I know. Are they getting along? Can we start crafting some then? I don't think we got that kind of time. Oh, okay. But even if we had all the TNT for miles around, I don't know if it would be enough. If only Soren were here, he might have something we could use. Oh, Ellie. Not this again. You know I hate when you brag about you and Soren's little brainy club. I'm not bragging. I yeah, think I've got a legitimate is. idea here. There's something stronger than TNT? Soren had a kind of super TNT. Stronger and more explosive than anything else in the world. Whoa. The Formidabomb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard all about the F-bomb before. F-bomb? Yeah. Soren claimed that dropping the F-bomb could destroy anything. But I've never seen it's it before. real. I swear. This thing sounds Im impossible. How could it even exist? Yeah. Impossible objects were Soren's specialty. Whoa, we don't yeah. know where Soren is. But you found us. Do you know where he is? The map can show us then, yes. Our map could locate him, unless he's in the nether, or the end. But, it's worth a shot. He wasn't on the map. He wasn't on the map. Yep. We want map to go around. Okay. Oh, Eligard. How depressed. Hello, Eligard. You said you know how to activate the map? I'm very curious to see it. I've never actually seen it work before. How are you, Petra? Fine. You okay? We can talk about it later. Let's just do this map for now. Magnus, hey, Magnus. Hey, small fry. No shame in admitting you can't turn that thing on. 
It's very, very sophisticated. I'm going, I'm going. I know what I'm doing. Oh, I'm not going without Axel. Hey, Axel, how are you doing? I'm hanging out with Magnus. I'm doing awesome. Glad to hear it, buddy. Okay. Lucas, my boy. How are you holding up, Lucas? I'm all right. This has all been pretty intense. Hmm. I feel like if I think too much about what's been going on... Thank you so much for all the help. I, I know we haven't always gotten along the best in the past, but you've been so great. Wow. That means a lot, Jesse. Thank you. Do I have to? I'm going to use it. Just in case. Oh crap, no. Don't make me use this. Can I stay talk to you? Hello. Hey, Olivia, you okay? I'm alright. I can't shake the feeling that I embarrassed myself back in Redstonia, in front of Eligard. I think she kind of judges me a little bit. It'll be okay. I hope you're right. What oh, bad guy, sorry. <laughs> anyway. Let's continue. Oh my god, now I have to do this crap again. Alright, there's your light, my light. Oh, wait, what? That's new. There he is. Soren had his fortress deep inside the mountains. After the order broke up, that's where he went to keep doing his experiments. Look, he invited me there a couple times, but it always seemed a little weird, right? It always seemed a little weird. Glad we can agree on that at any rate. I mean, I never actually went there with him. Let's stop hanging around here and go get us some super tea and... Wait, what? What? Really? Whoa. It didn't do that before. Are you sure it's working? Blue? Blue? That's Ivor! Ivor is going to Soren's. We need to move! Okay. It's not too far. We could probably make it on foot. Perfect. We can wait till tomorrow morning and travel with a full day sunlight. Uh, and risk that thing catching up with us? I think I've had enough wither storm for one day. Ah, uh, thank you very much. Right, because getting caught out there in the dark is so much better. Trust me, if you had seen this thing, you wouldn't want to stick around. Yeah, I don't want the wither storm catching up with us. We should go now. Jesse here's talking a lot of sense. Let's just go with that plan. You're just saying that because it's your plan, but. Fine. Sorry, I look hard, but it's the best. I have to make it right now. Before Ivor does something bad. Okay, everyone, let's get moving. Jesse, right? Oh, hello. We haven't had the chance to acquaint ourselves properly. I hear that you saved your friend Petra from this witherstorm. Sounds like you're a pretty impressive individual. Picks fights with lots of monsters? Always defending the weak and defenseless? I'm just doing my best to keep everyone safe. Yep. I can always appreciate humility. I like you. Mm -hmm. In any case, I sort of wish that you had taken my side earlier, but... Water under the bridge and all that. A slight tangent. What's the, uh, deal with your friend Olivia? I appreciate her enthusiasm, but she can be a little... much sometimes. She's always very eager to jump in and help. Which is sweet, of course. Though sometimes I wish she would think a bit more before jumping in. I don't know if you caught this, but she's like your biggest fan. You probably just make her nervous. That's an excellent point. Haven't thought about that. Seems like you respect her a lot. Why didn't you listen to her plan to come and recruit me? Not to make it awkward or anything. Or to demand, why didn't you want to recruit me? <laughs> I figured that we needed firepower, and 
No one knows destruction better than Magnus. The man does know how to blow things up with reckless abandon, that's for sure. I'll do my best to not let it hurt my feelings. <laughs> joke. That was a joke. Yep, exactly what I worried about, and exactly why we should have waited till morning. At least the wither storm isn't tearing us apart right now, all right? Hash all that out later, because we got some monsters to fight here, people. Daytime. How far is Soren? It has to be close, right? Not much farther. We can make it. Okay, we can make it. Easy. Okay. Huh. That looks dumb. Soren really live down here? It's so far from anyone. Enchanting, isn't it? <coughs> she doesn't feel okay. Yeah, and I'm really not feeling those columns. Ah, hmm. oh, come on! It's fine! Look! Woo! Don't fall, okay? Oh, that is deep. That is very, very deep. and thought I would come down to help. <laughs> Endermen. There are so many. I didn't think they ever came in groups that big. Where are the others? They went searching ahead for you. walks away. That's it! I'm going! 
See, I'm walking away too okay. now. Mm -hmm. Super TNT, here I come. It's hard to pick glass half full when they keep kicking the glass over. And I thought they were doing so well. Yeah, I wouldn't go that far. Bickering is kind of their deal. But hopefully they'll work things out and get on with the important stuff. What are we going to do now? Where should we go? Let's figure it out. Glad he came along, even if it did take a bit of persuading. They made a statue of me. What's going on? We found Ivor. We stopped him. Jesse did, anyway. False. You have stopped nothing. Shut up. A query. Have you ever seen the effects of a splash potion of slowness? That they can destroy the Wither Storm? But they are mistaken. And it will cost them their lives. We don't know about that. Okay. Oh. That's the finish? Okay. Next time on Minecraft Story Mode. In pursuit of answers, all our heroes found in Sauron's armory was deceit and treachery. Locked in a dark chamber deep in Sauron's mountain, as the Order of the Stone rides off towards near certain doom, our heroes must ask themselves, would they find a way out of this dark tomb? Is there any way to cure Petra's wither sickness? Would they find a way to defeat the wither storm? Or will they remain trapped as it continues its ravenous rampage across the entire world? Only time will tell. Yeah. Scenes or anything. Yep. Well, not yet, but okay. So, guys, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. And as always, stay awesome. Peace.